Hey guys, this is TT for Tip Top all the way up on the vibration chart. All the way, all the way. This is my vlog and these are my tatas. This is my belly and these are my thighs. <laughs> so nice to meet you. I'm glad you're here. Actually, this is Laverne and this is Shirley. Um, so this is my channel, oh, it's my vlog, and, um, I thought I would just sit here tonight, um, I, I was, I was doing, um, I, there's, so you could see my magnificent thighs, um, I was doing, you know, bathing suits where I would try on and, and walk and twirl or whatever, I started by doing, um, bathtub videos, um, you know, but here I am just going to sit here. I might show you my foot because I have beautiful freaking feet. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm about 260 pounds, um, maybe 270. Um, and I understand the concept of exercise. <laughs> Somebody tonight on one of my lives said, um, that you have to exercise to burn calories. Really? I know. I wasn't always 270 pounds. I have Hashimoto, which is a thyroid disease, but it doesn't even matter because my body isn't anybody's business but mine. I appreciate though, you know, your suggestions and your concern, of course. So I take it as love. So I know exercise, it can be difficult. I have lower back problems, like bad pain when I stand, but I do vacuum. I do mop. Um, I do do the dishes. I do clean my apartment. Um, I do actually have a really bad depression sometimes. Um, so I don't always get to the gym. Um, I have very low energy. I think it is, um, fiber, I mean, Hashimoto. Hashimoto really gives me a lot of fatigue. I nap a lot. So I'm medically, um, disabled because of Hashimoto, because of, um, PTSD, lower back, um, whatever's going on in my lower back that's causing a lot of pain and, um, fibromyalgia. So fibromyalgia, that'll kick in, in my, in my wrists, in my hands, um, my shoulders a lot, my back. Um, but you know, I'm 55 years old. This is my life. I'm going to live it. I'm going to be my best self. I love energy. I'm all about energy. That's why I call myself TT for tip top, tip top in the vibration chart, tip top, um, all the way up up there with God, Gr gratitude, you know, high vibration. Um, so I'm just, it's been a while since I've been on here and I apologize. I've just, I have been really going through a lot of, um, trauma healing. Um, so triggers. So when I get triggered, um, I cry. I have to be patient. I need to journal. I need to work through my feelings. So I've been doing a lot of that and I don't have any reason why I haven't been doing videos except, um, I just haven't. Um, so, and I've missed them. I've missed you guys. I've missed doing these videos. Um, I guess I get a little overwhelmed. You know, I'm a single mom. So, you know, I make dinner, I grocery shop, you know what I mean? I, uh, I have a lot on my plate to do. Um, so I don't know what else to say. Please like, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. Um, I love you. Leave a comment. I love you guys. You guys are everything to me, you know? A person's followers and their fans are everything. And I'm, I'm actually, I mean, everything. Like, I wouldn't feel as good about myself if I didn't have you guys. 
honestly, I, I, I used to read your comments every day and it would feed me. It would feed me love. So thank you. Like you matter in my life, but we've talked about that before. Let me, let me talk about what's going on in my life. I mean, not really much, really. Um, I got a new tattoo. Her name is Fifi. She's a Phoenix. And what this means to me is, you know, a Phoenix rises from the ashes and my ashes are my power as a human the best I can do the best I can heal the best I can be worthy of the best I can imagine and then the Phoenix rising is sources energy it is God it is my creator and what my creator strength and energy can do in my life heal me bless me provide for me you know what I mean my purpose so this this tattoo really means a lot to me it is where my efforts and my strength and my you know humanness ends and sources energy begins there's ashes. It's coming to the end of myself. It's coming to that I totally rely on source. I totally rely on my higher power, on, on um, the universe, on my creator. I was made. I was created. I'm an, I am a masterpiece. And I was created for this particular purpose. I mean, time. You know what I mean? I'm alive in this time in history, in this time in life. And I have a purpose and it's a high purpose and I'm here for my purpose. I'm here to make myself happy. I'm healed. I'm here to heal and to ascend. Um, I'm healed to, I can't talk. So whatever the fuck, hold on. I get like that. Um, where my just like shit comes out. I am here to heal. I am here, here for good. I am here for love. I am here for freedom. Freedom from trauma. Freedom from fear. Freedom from pain and suffering. Freedom from running. Freedom from judgment. Right? So I face my fears. I conquer my fears in divine love. With my power, which is in my divinity, it's in my purpose. It's in my wholeness. Like people, you guys, your love and your likes and your views and your comments. Yes, that's everything to me. I've always wanted to be a social media influencer. Right? And then I'm an energy. Uh, so you guys are my bread and butter. You guys are my, my foundation. You guys are everything to me. Um, but then, you know... I have to individually love myself. I have to. I choose it. If I keep criticizing and judging and hating on myself, that's only going to knock me down and tear me down. I want to build myself up. I want to lift myself up. I want to be high vibration. I want to soar. I want to fly. I want to heal. I want to expand. I want to increase. You can't have abundance and lack. You can't have abundance and judgment, abundance and hate. You can't be conflicted. You have to be in one accord, in alignment. And that's what I'm about. Becoming an alignment, coming into alignment myself, so I'm not scattered everywhere and pieces everywhere. And coming in alignment to source, source energy, divine love, unconditional love, high vibration, light that is what light energy is. It's unconditional divine love. That is the highest vibration of energy that there is. So I let go of things like unforgiveness. I cry out my feelings. I let go of things like anger, judgment, all those things, jealousy, insecurity, and I feed love. I feed value, that I'm valuable, that I have purpose, that I'm perfect, that I'm good, that I'm worthy of good. And then I live 
in the present moment and one day at a time, moment by moment. Um, trusting. Trust. Ooh, that is essential to you living your best life. Trust. And we can't do it on our own. We need our inner child in order to, to trust. Our inner child, that's the component in us that has the ability to trust. It's that innocence and that purity that trusts. So not trust your neighbor, not trust, but learn to trust your purpose, trust source, trust your higher power, trust yourself, trust that you have a conscience, that you have a heart, that you have an intuition, that you have inner guidance. And as you keep your heart clean, you let go of negative energy, like judgments, like criticism, like jealousy, like insecurity, like anything negative, unforgiveness, bitterness, anger. Those are all destructive, dark, low vibration, heavy energies. Codependency, low vibration. Manipulation, low vibration. Fear and punishment, all that stuff, low vibration. As you let go of those low vibration energies and you purge your trauma, you purge the fear of abandonment, the abandonment, that's an energy, it's a dark energy, um, neglect and, and um, rejection, criticalness, those are dark low vibration energies. So we are like a vessel, we're energy, but we hold energy. We hold energy by how we think by what we believe and by the patterns of of our you know human life like holding like holding grudges like judging people like um, being insecure like those become patterns those are energies so as we choose a higher vibration as we choose you know to be authentic if you walk around with masks masks low vibration you're hiding um, with a lot of walls there's that's a self-protection that's that's a self yes people say well you're supposed to uh walls can be a prison too walls keep you from having authentic connection with others so it keeps you in like a prison by yourself in isolation not what you were created for you are an object of love you were created for love and to be loved to have affection, to be powerful, to be whole, to be in alignment, and to be um, complete and balanced. That's what you were created for. So the universe is going to support you in your journey of healing and ascension. It wants that for you. You were created for that. That insecurity, codependency, um, fear and punishment, manipulation, um, criticalness, um, abandonment, um rejection those dark energies equal trauma for your inner child to be rejected for your inner child to be abandoned that equal trauma for your inner child trauma creates mental health issues mental uh multiple personalities um uh post traumatic stress disorder where you know you're triggered to your past trauma and when you're triggered, the best thing you should do is stop. Put your mental and emotional well-being first. And feel your feelings. Process how you're feeling. And it will take support and time, patience, gentleness, kindness. Okay? And, and support, unconditional love, faith, hope. That's how you heal your inner child. It takes time and patience and it's going to need to be a priority in your life your physical health and your mental health your emotional health and your spiritual health are all connected into your well-being and it's all connected to your money and your finances as well all connected all you're a spiritual being you're an emotional being you're a social being you're fun and you know what I mean so it all flows and it flows out of your heart so keeping your heart pure restoring your inner child nurturing yourself keeping yourself clean and worthy and keep feeding yourself light and love 
support, um, patience, kindness, um, stable, uh, secure, you know what I mean? That's going to grow you and strengthen you, okay? So, to be your best self, to be your best self, following your heart, doing the right thing, um, being generous, being kind, being true to yourself. That will let go of the codependency. That'll let go. It's not easy to stop criticizing yourself because it becomes a pattern. It's not easy to not be codependent because it becomes a pattern. It's like a habit, like smoking, like drinking, like gambling, like cussing. It's a pattern. It's going to take patience and time and effort to stop. But first you make choices. You choose to love yourself before you feel it. You choose to believe in yourself. You choose to walk, to face your fear, to do it afraid. Okay? Your life will change dramatically and you will feel lost during times. You will feel triggered. You'll have to pull yourself away. I'm triggered. You'll have to be vulnerable. You'll have to cry. Tears are so powerful. Tears are important. They matter. They purge energy. You have to learn how to release your energy body from negative energy and trauma. You have to, or you're going to have diseases and sicknesses and problems and mental health issues and financial problems and relationship problems, okay? Because that darkness, it gets in your heart and it, and it has to do with what you manifest and what you're attracting. There's no pill that can fix it. You have to walk through it. You're your healer. You are. You take responsibility, but you love yourself always. Don't ever beat yourself up or be hard on yourself. That is too hard. It makes life harder, not easier, not better. So I know a lot about energy. It's been my life. It's my purpose. I also do readings. I do private readings. I do mediumship readings so I connect with loved ones, with dead people. My, my private readings are about $50. Um, that gives you roughly 45 minutes with me. Um, I'm also an energy coach. So uh, it depends if you want sessions, then you can schedule that with me. You can always contact me through my link tree. You can go on my Facebook or my Instagram. I also have an OnlyFans account. I'm inviting you and welcoming you to my OnlyFans account. I want you there. That's a form of income for me. And it's a place of healing for me. I was sexually abused as a kid by my grandfather. I was held hostage as an adult um, and tortured for 24 hours, handcuffed. Um, and so I have a lot of uh, trauma. And, um, so I, my only fans helps me to heal and I want you there. I'm requesting your presence on my only fans account. Um, join me. I need you. I'm asking and I believe it will benefit you. I believe that it will bring you to a new level in your life, a new understanding, a new joy, a new bliss. I love you. I love you. I love you. This is my vlog. I love you for being here. Thank you for being here. Like, share, subscribe, join, become a member, come on my social medias, see me on TikTok live, see me on my uh, Instagram. I come live a lot on my Instagram. Mwah, mwah. I bless you. I appreciate you. I honor you. Peace out. <laughs> I bow. That was me bowing.